All right, it's after five. I'd like to call this meeting to order August the 24th at 5.02. I'll ask uh, Councilman Jeff Renfro to lead us in a word of prayer. Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we gather here today, Lord, we ask for your blessing to be upon us. We ask that you provide us the knowledge that we need to uh, conduct your business here in the city of Hartford. Lord, we thank you for everyone that is here in attendance. Lord, we ask that you watch over us all, keep us all safe, healthy, and well. And we pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, before you have the, before I get into that, I want to say, uh, be thinking about Terry and her family as they buried her grandmother. She's not going to be able to make it today. She's dealing with some stuff with that, I guess. So be thinking about her as well. Um, Before you have the minutes of the last meeting, I'll uh, ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read after you looked over them. I read them from early. Second. Motion by Mary Bell and second by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Before you, you have the financial reports, bank statements, income statements. I'll give you a few minutes to look over that if you have any uh, questions, anything like that. I'll entertain the Motion to be accepted. Are we, are we in discussion? Yeah, you can. So on page one of the city check register. So my, my comment, and I guess I don't know where the parking lot is, but we pay the Anderson Corporation or parking, which parking lot is So that? it's right across here. So what we done, I'll, I'm glad you brought that up. What we done, it was in a limbo. The county had picked that up for years and they paid it. Well, they got out of it. And so we feel like, we felt like every time we do events, it's that blacktop on this side, on the other side of the road. We felt like it was important not to let that go. And so that's why we picked that up. Okay. So yeah. that's, that's, that's something new I didn't Yeah, yeah it's before. a good question. And then I, sorry, I, I look this over. Yeah. It's good. Uh, I know me and you have talked about it, but I didn't know maybe we can update the other council members and our our guests about the uh, the multi use trail. Yes. Talk about. So, I've been talking to Bell Engineer on the uh, the multi use trail. I'm actually going to Madisonville next week to meet with the Kentucky Transportation. They did have concerns about the overbridge going over 69 so they done their uh, surveying and everything like that we're just kind of at the mercy with the transportation as well as um, bell engineer on the project so i will keep you all in the loop of things whenever we get there so and then my other last comment on the financial report is that i see that we have Andy Brasher and Scott Ford Band. They're going to perform during Oktoberfest. That's is that correct. The, on the schedule? Yep. And that'll be the 21st and 22nd of October. Um, Meredith and Stacia has been a big part of all of that on the Oktoberfest. She sits on that committee. Um, so that'll be good things to happen. And they'll be publicizing that a lot more here pretty quickly as the time comes. So we look forward to that. They're going to have a 5K, and I think some of the local churches will be involved, the library, they'll set up a movie, It'll be a beer garden. Um, there's a lot of activities going on. So I'm good. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm all for it. So I think we need to bring it back. So, yeah. Good choices there on band as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Um, does anybody else have any discussions on anything? Black yeah, I mean, uh, that's going to be brought up after all of the, we go through our list here, we're going to discuss that. We got some, okay. we got some others 
that we want to do, but we're going to try to get a plan together on that too. So. I have a question to ask. Okay. I know, and I, I, I thought seriously about asking this. Does the city have any ordinances or the ability to have ordinances concerning drainage work that's done on private property? And the reason I ask that is because seems like everybody's wanting to cover up their ditches and a lot of them are well that water is going to go somewhere else if it doesn't go one direction it will find another that is correct and i'm just wondering if there's any plan or any organization or anyone who well it i mean no the division of water yeah i mean so if it, if it's anything within our easements then we have the right to take actions however we need to take actions. I mean, from center line of the road, 25 feet, I think that's what it is, from center, center line of the road. So anything that's on us, we can take actions to clean these ditches out. Well, I know, but have you been by the, the extension office? Oh yeah, they have filled in and covered up. But they have a lot of tile right there that, that uh, I think they put about a 48-inch tile in there. Uh -huh. um, and see, that is a state road, so they have to get permitted through the state to get all that done. <clears throat> and so they can't, they can't go in like we can and put a uh, road tile in or anything. It has to be approved by the state before they can ever do anything and like that. And even though it's within the city limits, we have no say whatsoever. Not on a state road like that. Well, you know, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a state house. I shouldn't. When, when it comes when it comes to ditches, the only thing that it ever comes down to is if any private property owner does a bunch of work and it changes the flow of water based right. on somebody else, that doesn't come back on you. That goes to every property owner that is affected. Well, that, that turns into a civil. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's my point. <clears throat> I mean, do we have any control from going this direction? Or this direction, where it could be like the same said, damage. Like you said, the only thing that's going to come down to is your, your, your right of way. But once it comes to private property, whatever they do and whatever they screw up, unless they screw up on you, then you can sue them, but then it turns into a civil you can't, you can't divert water on your property to somebody else. If you do, well, that's what it appears is happening. Well, what they like, like you said, things. what they've done up there, they put a gigantic tile. Yeah, I know. I know they covered their ditch up, but they they put a bunch, <laughs> bunch of tile. So it, it shouldn't be too big a deal. But if it is, then it nobody will ever do anything. It doesn't, it doesn't come back on you. It's going to come back on right. them. If it runs a bunch of water down into their neighbors or the church or whatever, but that's a civil thing. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be well, everybody thinks there's a creek running through there, so we don't yeah. have to worry about it. Right. Yeah. But and that eventually goes right on down, hook into Muddy Creek, it goes right on down to Center Town Road, and floods. Yeah. yeah. But, no. But what? I mean, you, don't, you, won't, you won't know until it does. Right. Yeah. Right. We already know it does, and we're letting people <laughs> do it anyway. I mean, I just wonder, I, that things like that bother me because oh, I get it. anytime you you go to divert any water, it's going to affect someone else who may not be able to do anything about it. But at the same time, the only reason I even speak up about it is because Beaver Dam deals with it. Every time it rains and floods down Lafayette, right. that's right. That's what's talked about. And it's, it's a nightmare because, as I've said, climate change is real. <laughs> so you just got to prepare, prepare for it. Yeah. Mayor, I'll try to get us back on schedule here. I'll make a motion to accept the July 23 okay. financial report. I've got a first. Do I have a second? second? Stay second. Sure. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like a sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Marissa, do you care to come up and discuss the, uh, the uh, property donation here? Yeah. 
one? Yeah. You want one? property and uh, taxes haven't been paid since 2012 so they're wanting to give it to the city and if you look on the map it joins the cemetery because we own all around is it that turn up that little road beside this I can't think of the name of it we're next here's to the, the water tower isn't? yeah mm -hmm. oh. we're next to the cemetery is this one here's the water tower and then we own all this and all this so it's right there. Oh, so you get there by that yeah, little road. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that little that little was the same one. Yeah, yeah. the alley. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's right by that. There's one that has a fenced in and drives right yeah. up to the back of the water tower. Okay. Um, Alright, what is that? Yeah. 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 Nice. She just contacted us and asked if that was something that we would want. That she wants to donate it. Oh. Well, I think we should take it. <laughs> yeah, they're not growing them more land. So I guess do, should we go on and roll call that? And it's not. It's not. Yeah, I need to make a motion to roll call. So a motion or anything? No, as long as the the acknowledgement is to agree to do that, I th we'll be okay. So if everybody's in favor. Yes. Say aye. Yes. Aye. aye. All right. You'll probably want to get a motion to second it. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just go on I, and do it. Yeah, let's just go on and do it first and second. Do it first and second. motion we accept this property. I'll second. Yeah, second's all over the place. Take a picture. <laughs> so do I just give it to Tara? Yep. Who's first? Okay. Uh, Mary Bell was first. first. You can take the station. All right, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Okay, next we... We've looked at um, some of our sidewalk projects, and we're just hit or miss. So any time that you all have some that you all want us to look at, by all means, reach out, and we'll get estimates because it is a safety issue. And I've got two different ones, so we'll have to have two different motions to accept, I guess. Um, the first one, the first one is um, from Monroe's Construction. And this is on Render Street, and it's uh, basically it's all still intact. It's just slid in, and there's there's a lot of repairs that need to be done. And that total is uh, one thousand seven hundred sixty dollars, uh, and that cost is a little bit down because the city is going to provide help with the the equipment instead of that company having to rent it out. So. I'll ask for a motion to accept, and this is budgeted for, so we don't have to take it out of occupation or anything like that. Um, so I'll ask for a motion to accept Monroe construction on the first one being Render Street at $1,760. I'll make a motion. Second. I got a first and second, by, first by Tony, and <coughs> second by Mary Bell. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so, motion carries. The second one being on Mulberry Street, same thing. The city's going to provide the equipment to do some of the repairs, take out whatever needs necessary. So that project is going to be $2,092.75. And this is on Mulberry Street. And uh, I'll ask for a motion to accept Monroe to do this project as well. I'll make the motion. Uh, second. Second. <coughs> okay. All right. Um, so I did that one and that one. Okay. And like I said, if y'all got any more to bring up. I just sent you pictures. Okay. The uh, I will call them tomorrow and hopefully they'll get on it pretty quickly. So. All right. All right, so everybody has the ordinance 2023-4. This is a first reading on the water sewer tap-ons. Um, does somebody care to read that? I'll read it. 
Ordinance 2023-04, an ordinance of the City of Hartford, Kentucky, amending portions of Ordinance Number 2014-02 regarding the schedule of rates and charges for use of the water and sewer services and facilities of the combined and consolidated municipal water and sewer system. Thank you. Do you care to elaborate on that a little bit for them so they can be brought up to speed on this? So this is actually amending Ordinance 2014-02 and you can see with the dollar amounts that are marked through is the amounts that we were current or are currently charging for the three-fourths inch is was 650 our actual cost is twelve hundred dollars so that would be updating uh, so that we would just break even <coughs> at putting a water tap on and then you see there for the one inch and the two inch the prices accordingly and then if you look at the second page you can see on the sewer side, when we have sewer tap ons, we have a price difference, of course, as well, because, like I said, these were set in 2014, where we had residential of $350, where our cost is $650, and non residential was $750, and our cost is $950. So, all this ordinance is doing is updating 2014 prices with current prices that we're actually paying. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have an extra one of those sheets? I didn't get one. So is a three-fourth inch, is that a resident, a home, an individual's home, or That's what's the difference? That's a standard residential home. Which one? A three-quarter. Okay, and then what's the one inch? That's usually more than used for businesses or okay. along that line. All right. I make a motion that we well, what, it's just a roll call. Um, no, there's no roll call. It's just a first, first reading, so okay. it'll be the next meeting. We'll roll call it. All right, thank you for that. Okay, um, next thing I have on here is from Miller Building Supply. Uh, we've got a quote. And I, it's been something that I've thought about and talked about and open for discussion. Um, I'll kicked around the idea of putting a picnic shelter at the boat ramp down there. And we received a quote from Miller's Building Supply. It'll be... $7,306.35. And this, this is budgeted as well. I just thank you. It's a nice area down there, and I would like to see what we can do to uh, keep going forward with that as well. I make a motion to accept the quote for the picnic area at the boat dock. What was the price? Seven thousand three hundred six dollars and thirty-five cents. We got a first by Stacia, second by Mary Bell. All in favor, say aye. 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 Polls like aye. The motion carries. Thank you. And that, that project will be hopefully up and going pretty soon as well. So, um, I think, I guess we can go on and talk about this. I, I discussed this with Jeff last night a little bit. Um, <coughs> we don't have to take action on it right now, but moving into blacktop a little bit. I've uh, got a quote from Scotty's from Gillespie. Uh, Gillespie Street tied into the hospital and this is just one side of it um, it is at twenty seven thousand six hundred eighty one dollars and ninety three cents again this is just it don't have to take action today but we are in a time that November they'll probably shut down black topping um, so I'm open for suggestions. If we want to move on that, that's fine. If not, we'll we'll table it for another day. And which road is this? It's right there off of Gillespie. Hospital. Shouldn't the hospital be liable for some of that? I've I've reached out to them, and we yeah, had this discussion yesterday. And they've since then, uh, after reaching out, they they told me that they've changed administration, and they are going to let me know either way. Um, but uh, I 
thought there was early discussion that they were. There was with uh, Mr. Piper and them. And so I don't know that that still stands, but it's there, it's out there, and I'll do my best to see what I can do to kind of push it. I've talked to them too as well. Uh, they basically didn't give me a straight answer, but didn't say no. Um, can, is there a way that we could? It seems like I were, I wasn't part of the council. I think it was last council that they were here discussing about the renovations and the expansion and things like that. Is there anything in in those minutes that what they discussed and what think they proposed? I don't do. think there is because we kind of we went back to look even before because even when we started pa the patchwork. I think Tony Ward was part of that discussion. Yes. He was, and and it's one of the things that I talked to her. I talked to him. I've got a meeting with Shelly Shouts in the next couple of days, maybe next week. She'll be the one that she's basically the one that has the final say so and things. So, but that, like I said, that's just informational. We don't have to act on it tonight, and I'll I'll keep digging to see what we can come up with. So, what about the Mother Street you talked about? I've got the quotes on them. Um, popular. And all, uh, oh yeah, in the Emory, mm -hmm. and in the and Mark some of those that me and Jeff talked about as well. There's some tile work that we need to do before we can start. Yeah, and then there's that one house that's being built back yeah. there. I think it'd probably be best if we yeah. kind of delay those for the tile work and the construction of that new home. And what I would like to do pretty soon is we can have a special call meeting and focus on blacktop. Um, and I told Jeff as well, I think it'd be important to take sections at a time to focus on what we want to do instead of jumping here and there we can focus on one portion of the city and work that out before we just jump everywhere else so um, I would like to see that in the near future so all right if we don't have nothing on that we'll move on well I, I think maybe can, can we table the Glebsey yeah that's fine hospital yeah. until we get an answer from yeah it can be tabled County and yeah no, sir. most definitely. I'm fine with that. I have no problem with that. I, I do. I want to say though, it does need to be, you know, because yeah. I went by there the other day, and it's it's pretty yeah. bad shape. Yeah. And if I was a resident there, I'd want it done yeah. too. But uh, I just uh, right like to get an answer. Yeah, the hospital ought to be contributing. To yes. this. I I can agree with that, and I, I will I will do what I can to kind of. Get some commitment out to them. So, do what? It's a bad shape to start with, yeah. but it's even worse. Yeah. Equipment. Yeah. So, I'll see what I can do on that part of it. Um, let's see if I got anything else. Okay. I've got um, something that I would. Uh, like to make the motion that we go in closed session to discuss some property. Make a motion we move into closed session. A second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. We'll be back here in a little bit. It won't take very long to, for this discussion and we'll be back here in a little bit. Thank you. No, uh, nothing was uh, voted on or anything of that nature, just for discussion. So, yeah, I need a first and second to come back open for the motion. council. First and second. <coughs> All in favor, say aye. Aye. Full flex side. Thank you. Um. As you all seen in your envelopes that you've had for um, the grad annual meeting September the 13th at 11.30, just get with Lisa if you would like to go so she can put you on the list. Um, 
to, to participate in that. It starts at 11.30. City um, going to pay for that. That grad will. Grad will. <laughs> yeah. I read in there somewhere to send in if you would pay if you was coming. Mm. No, I'll grab it, take care of it. Um, Chris, do you have anything? I don't have nothing at the moment. Alright. Ronnie, do you want to? Yeah, I didn't cut y'all nothing up. My computer is uh, out of access at the moment, but I'll get y'all something. Um, we sent out letters for abandoned properties. I talked to old about it. Anybody who responded with a plan of action was given a little grace. Uh, there are several who said they was, I know there's one down, it's down by River Bend. That gentleman says that house is historical. He's going to tear it down and take the wood and repurpose it. Um, several people did respond. Said they were happy. One of them had cancer and had to put off some work about his, but he was going to get back up and running. So if they contacted us or reached out in any way, we gave them a little grace till the first, till the next tax time. There's still a few. I don't think we've heard anything from the one that has a plan. Does he have a plan to do it by the next tax time? That's understanding. Okay. And I thank you, Lisa and Ronnie, both have been in contact with Tara on some legal issues. Um, I do know Most that people get their yard mold if I tell them. Some of them don't. It takes a minute, but they usually get it. Usually I have the same house as I usually have to go tell them, and then after I tell them, they'll mold it. There's a couple of campers sitting around town. They've been contacted to get unhooked from the city <coughs> water. Um, they can have them sitting in their yards and plugged up like through the summer to keep their refrigerators running is what it is, but can't be on the water or the sewer. Of course, they haven't moved them. I think Lisa's mailed them out some letters, see what can be done about that. Um, I've had several complaints about the ditches. There you go. I mean, who's, got, who's supposed to mow the ditches? Good question. Um, what about that on Lola Street, that old trailer? They were mailed a letter. Uh, they were sending a letter. Who is responsible for it? I don't well, think it's very good. They were sending a note. So we need that they would be in charge of a higher tax rate because it's a major problem. We can make the land owners. I think all those areas are past. I don't think they're. Our old main street over there from Lola Street to Lola Street. They were sending a note saying that they would be in charge of a higher tax rate because it's a major problem. We can make the land owners. I think all those areas are past. I don't think they're. Our main street up from, you know, where the back of Dr. Bennett's place is. Yep. They that was taken care of today. Huh? That was taken care of today. I didn't know if that was the city's or the property owner's. Well, basically, it's pretty well ours, and that's what I told Jason. Jason uh, told me today that they did take care of it because that was on my list. And uh, so I noticed that the other day myself. So any time that you all have anything like that, reach out to Ronnie. Yeah, I don't care if it's going to look into it and see. Uh, I try to drive around and stay on top of it. Thing is, that's what they'll mow. Some people, they're like, yeah, I mow it, but you know, I, I gotta wait till I get the money to buy the gas. Sure. Uh, there's a house over just up to Bo's house. They got a bunch of junk toys sitting in the yard. What I consider junk toys. But I drive by there several times a week. There's little kids out there playing on them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's not junk to them. That's what they'll mow. That's their prized possessions. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's hard sometimes because sure what I would is. consider junk, you know, say they play with. They, they, well, it's kind of tough sometimes. There's a bad place on uh, Render Street, too, 127 Render. That little trailer there, and the whole ditch is growed up bad. There's no property, that, no home there, right? Just a field? No, no, there's a trailer there and a house on the other side of it. If you don't come down from on land, you don't have to I would rather check, <clears throat> look at. It. Like I said, if you have one you're concerned about, call. I'll be more glad to go check on it, talk to them. Uh, like I said, there's several. I have a lot of issues 
It's, oh, there's one down here on the corner of Mulberry and Washington. Uh, I've been down there numerous times. There's another one on Mulberry I, every other week. I have to go over and tell them, mow your yard. And like I said, usually after I tell them, they'll mow. We also did have a meeting with the committee and would like to raise the fees from 25 to 50. Uh, I think we'll have to get with Tara on that would have to be under an ordinance or yeah so we'll have to we'll have to do that in an ordinance to change um, so I'm okay with that okay um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Rachel <laughs> Rachel and them spent quite amount of time today calling customers concerning water bills. Um, I'm not going into detail about it, but I think there's maybe five pages. Well, we have reach alert, and that's something that we're going to implement more and more to get away from these phone, phone calls. So y'all will see that advertised pretty soon on reach alert, and I, I would highly recommend that you... Uh, share that because we're going to put it in the newspaper as well as social media um, we just need to get these residents on reach alert that way they get the messages out there and they'll pay hey, time for water bills or if you got a uh, bull advisory it'll send everything out for you so just be be looking out for that I appreciate everything that she does everyone almost calling every today so was it Delinquent water bills, or people that have not paid as of today, or eighty-four people. Eighty-four people. That's not include the people that are already shut off for uh, delinquent for multiple months. That's just current accounts. So is that automated? Huh? Is that automated? Automated. What rates? What rates you are? The rates you are. So it automatically it senses that they're late or whatever. She would pay. Oh. I'll put a message right. in and I'll send it to everybody. Yeah, it'd just be one message for everybody. To the car wash. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Unsanitary. Well, I mean, there are lots of things. They were told to put parking around front, park around back. Now they park around back. It's an issue they park around back now. I mean, but there are lots of things. They keep, keep it picked up. They keep it neat. I don't know. I don't know what in my control I can do about that. I don't know. What is that anyway? It's trash collecting, I think. Yeah, it's, it's what? It's trash collecting. Trash collecting. For the city? No. No. It's, it's private. A new Independent. A trash service is like <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, Did we issue them a permit? Do they have a business license? Yeah, I think they do have a business license. My only issue is just, I mean, all the, if even moving around back, they're trash trucks parked in a residential. Well, here, around back? Yeah. See, they were parked around front. I know, which so looked we ugly. Around back. Yeah. Now we're getting complaints around back. And I understand it too, because that's residential back there. If those yeah. come back stinking, and that's awful. And we'll look into the business. Yet? They even wash out their trucks? Do they? Uh, it has? Yeah, they don't, don't even have running water. They don't have a business license? Or? They do have a business license, but they don't have running water. <laughs> business For a trash pickup? Right. Well, we got a problem, I think. Was the car wash still licensed as a car wash? With well, that, water? That I don't know either. I imagine it's probably under Stephen Edge. He's the one that owns the, the car wash. Or I think he might be. It might be leased. I think he's leasing. Yeah, I think is what it, I think it is. Stephen Edge owns it. He leases business. That's what it is. It's just trash collection. And they don't well, that's something that we need to discuss with uh, Stephen as well as that business because if whoever's name it is, they don't. Business yeah, license or water. You don't see it. They do have the business license. You mean the city can do nothing to get that cleaned up? I mean, yeah. 
Yeah. Stephen A. Jones is that trailer line. It like there, logical thing to do is to lock out your hoppers and your truck so if you're going to be parked in the You guys keep that in mind. If you have a solution for me, you get with me, and I would be more glad to help solve it. I appreciate it. Well, I've got a list for you if you don't care. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. All right. Uh, Thank you for all you do, Ronnie. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't yes, think we appreciate this job. I'm just thinking. I will have to have her check on both business license and water. So, I guess that's all I have. Um, now for discussion, roundtable discussion, council. Um, Jeff, do you have anything to bring up? I, I have one thing uh, that we haven't discussed. Uh, I know this. There's been a lot of overnight parking at Ellis Park. I would say it's probably those duplexes. So uh, I'll have the cops to do a uh, drop out. Yeah. And I think they got broken into again, is what Jason told me as well. Yeah, the locks are busted off, or the locks are gone from the bathrooms and that storage building. If we get anything nice, at we're not going to get to keep it. At the park, yes. Beaver Dam experience is the same thing. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's it's off. Like you get it everywhere, you, any park. Keep a light on it all the time, and I don't know if that'd be. The well, they got one down there yeah, on the yeah. basketball side. Yeah. Can we not get cameras put out there? We can set some, uh, matter of fact, we can, uh, I've set a lot of trail cameras up here lately. I mean, that's something that we could do now, but a lot of those now have to run Wi-Fi on, on, on a lot of cameras, but you can do trail cameras to set up, so I'll put that on the list. As, yeah. Well, what I've, done, what I've done in the past, I'm going to go on record saying this, we've made bird feeders and set the trail cameras in the bird feeders. That way nobody really knows yeah. there's cameras sitting out there. So. Yeah, because if they see the camera, yeah, it's going to be gone. And some of them, some of them we have, we have them hanging really high where you can't even get to them and facing down. So I'll put that on there too. Okay. Can we put some kind of alert alarm if they hit the building hard enough to bust the lock off of it that it would, you know, well, basically, I've got some that it'll it'll go straight to my phone. Um, so, yeah, anytime anything's going on at that time, it'll it'll pick it up and it'll it'll send you an alert on it. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll send it to Chief, and maybe they can. Him and the lieutenant. I think if we even need to buy something, we need to. Yeah, I'll, it. I will definitely get on that. I got that on my list. And there's something at all. PPA. Okay, thank you. Is that a. Yeah, well, we. Me and you discussed a few things. I don't know if it's to be, you know, if you want to talk about them here or is, uh, about our prevention plan or something going forward. Uh, I, so what it is, I asked the mayor the other day if we had some type of uh, uh, drug prevention plan. Uh, if we did your analysis on our employees, uh, not that I suspect anybody using or anything like that, just as far as a preventive met method. Uh, so that was an idea that we had talked about. Uh, I don't know how anybody else feels about that. Uh, we do have employees using equipment, you know, lawnmowers, garbage trucks, you know, backhoes, other equipment, stuff like that. Uh, and once again, not suspecting anybody using anything at all, but just if we had a preventive maintenance or preventive plan in place. So if you're saying someone tests positive for a substance, where, what would be our yeah, next step? Yeah, what would be our next step? So we, basically, I like said treatment. Yeah. Do we offer Do we offer a treatment well, program? Are they automatically fired? Uh, what What is? If there's an accident, don't we have a zero tolerance? 
if there's an accident, there's a way. Oh, oh yes, yeah, and that's pretty much most places do that. Uh, if there is an accident, well, then that means zero yeah, to get that's caught to get fired. Yeah, that's why building protocol. But do we want to wait till there's an accident to know <clears throat> that we could prevent someone, like or if we could even help someone if, if they have a problem? And like I said, I don't know anybody that has a problem. I think that's one of the things. And that in that discussion, we really need to focus on our policy and procedure handbook. It hasn't been updated since when? 2009. 2009. Jeez. So we really need to focus on getting that done. And that could be something that if we feel the need to be implemented, um, um, uh, we'll, we'll discuss those. We have to pay five grand, five grand to Kentucky Leads a City for the draft and then get back to us and then it be voted on in our policy and procedures. I think for guidance, maybe look to see what the county does. Because I know they're city, county, and then state. And as a state employee, if, well, we don't have random drug screens, but if there was a drug screen and we test a positive, we would have the option for treatment. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what the county the offers. County, does the same thing. county okay. offers the same thing. Yeah. And then at that time, you wouldn't do a disciplinary action. Right, if they if, selected if to they be selected to do treatment, treatment, and then they come back, and then if right. it happens again, you know, just a different tiered approach yep. to to their treatment efforts and staying employed. I like that. I agree with that. And that's one of the things. Yeah, yeah. I think because it's, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. You're fine. You wouldn't want to fire them. Right. That's that's just discriminatory under the. Americans with Disabilities Act, the substance use disorder is a disability. So I think we would be progressive with the times to have something in place. And it's just the right thing to do. So my <coughs> question is, do because it's going to take a, a, a team effort, do you all want to try to get our policy and procedures together uh, tackle it all, or do you want to try to go after this policy here? I mean, it, we got a lot of catching up to do on our policies, so I'm well, open for suggestions. Don't want to piece me like, do it all at once. Yeah, so, yeah. Is I, it possible that all the council members could be provided a absolutely. handbook and we can look absolutely. it over and, and that, kind of make? And that'll that'll it's mandatory to be done that way. But so. the la but the last time we had one council member that read it. Yeah. Mm. So if we're talking like. This much. Yeah. Just give me a while to read it. Not read it. Yeah. Well, if in that same sentence, then if if you all are in favor, um, I'll uh, I'll entertain a motion right now to go on and pay the five thousand dollars to KLC for the policy and procedure book, and then it'd be revised at our mercy, and then sent back to them, and then and then it'll be in an, it'll be in, a, in our minutes. And uh, that's how it'll be conducted. Do we need to make a motion to pay KLC five thousand? Yes. I make the motion to pay KLC five thousand. Where would you like I to take? Second. That? Where would you like to take that out of? Uh, uh, Maryville. Well, uh, yeah, take that my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that stall. <laughs> yep. I guess. Huh? And then, and like I said. So you said occupational? Yeah. Occupational. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Full uh, like side. Motion carries. Thank you. And this will take a lengthy process, but I say let's, um, let's act on it because there's a lot of fine line in there, and if you see something that you might catch your eye that might not be suiting, uh, highlight it, bring it up, and uh, let's Why try to get everything correct. take a lengthy process? Well, it's, it's a big book. I know. I helped on that too, this. <laughs> I don't know how big it is. So, yeah. So, I wrote zero policy. It's so, I, obvious, I haven't read it. And so, is there an evaluation? Do we do employee evaluations, or how do, do we... As far as the drug screening? No, a totally new topic. It's in the handbook. It's in the handbook that we do... Our employees are evaluated on a yearly basis. On, on the on the KLCs for five thousand dollars, yes, mm -hmm. it's 
in there. Yeah. Okay. We do evaluation. Yeah. Okay. And this is standard for all cities. This is not fine tuned for Hartford. Right. Okay. What they do is for Kentucky okay. cities. Okay. So and it's directed toward the city local government rather than a business type. Okay. So it's geared specifically. So for we would us. just review this big book and adapt it to our own. Yep. To be our own. Yep. Okay. How long would you think he'll see travel rate get it draft? The uh, hopefully it wouldn't take them very long because they should have all that. I mean, they, they're they shipping them out to everybody, so yeah. that we should have that pretty soon. Okay. So she'll, she'll get on that, and, and maybe we can get that together. And when we get them in, I'll just have I'll have her call everybody. That way, y'all have them beforehand, and uh, we can look at them from there. So, okay. Stacia, that's all I have. Oh, thank, thank you. Sorry. You're fine. Stacey, you have anything? Um, I sent you some more pictures of sidewalks. Okay. They're really bad up and down Union. Okay. It's bound at some point to be a liability right there in front of the Methodist Church. Okay, I'll they get a quote on that as well. Cut out. There's a couple different spots. And the work that we had had done, I don't know when we had the sidewalks put in, in U down Union, how many years ago that's been. And you may have recognized, I don't know, there's some... I don't know if they're drains or what they are, but they're rectangles, plastic rectangles, that sit in the sidewalk about two inches. So whether they've sunk or whether they were made that way originally, those are huge trip hazards. And that's on what street? It's Union. Oh, so that it's is. down there. Okay. <clears throat> is this the picture right here? Um, no, he didn't take any pictures of those. I need to go by and take pictures okay. of those. I'll check But them. it's kind of across from uh, the Smith's, Lance Smith's house. I know where you're at. Side. Yep. So it's the brand new part of the sidewalks, but there's some, I don't know what it is. It looks is. like maybe they hit it with a riding lawnmower turning around or something and it's kicked that lid up or something Well, like no, that. the lid itself is sunk down probably two inches below the uh, pavement level. Okay. So like. I usually run by there too. Yeah. I, I see Be careful. that kick <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they, um, and the sidewalk, they may not be on there either. The sidewalk on the Smiths. Right in front of the Smiths, the lip of the sidewalk, like it's like again a two or three inch lip, just going from one segment of sidewalk to another. That a runner or a cyclist or a kid, my kids specifically, have fallen. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. So. All right, I'll put that one on the list as well, okay. and I'll see if we can get a quote with the next meeting. The only thing that I'm going to have to <coughs> figure out on that is, I really don't know who would be responsible. For the wall, yeah. Um, so I don't but, either. Well, the big chunk on this side. On that side, be in a, yeah. They're on Union Street. Union, right there by the Methodist Church, yeah. down from the steps. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but I, I will. That there on the corner. That wall. Kinda, let's see. So this is this is like right in front of the Methodist. Oh, okay. Um, there's more. That's the like a big chunk. Um, all that's unlevel, uh, unlevel. Oh, that one, the big chunk right out. See, you can walk down the sidewalk. Somebody yeah. turn an ankle in that one. That trip your rear heartbeat. <laughs> I'd be down for it. I'd be down for the count. <laughs> Y'all would not see me in a long time. It'd be bringing in uh. a big, big truck to haul me. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> That's all you got. That's all I got. Just sidewalks. Okay. I will have them check that out. Uh, you got anything to bring to the table? I don't. Okay. What's, what's going on then on 231? Did someone buy that property from Junior Thompson? And are they going to build something there? Yeah, so that's going to be a five-star. I'm sorry if I've neglected to say anything. I think I sent a message out about it. Um, uh, basically, it's going to be a five-star gas station. They so, he sold it to five. Star, Junior Thompson sold it to Five Star. Um, they they're in the process. They hope to have that project done maybe uh, mid of next fall, maybe. So they're they're trying to move on it pretty quickly. You yeah, well, I noticed that been so, moving Yeah, yeah. So huh. is that City Harbor? Huh. The city of Hartford there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Perry Bell? Got anything? Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Not tonight. Okay. Tony, you got anything? No. Okay. We better go for the mirror bill change. <laughs> I second. second. <laughs> All right. You got a first, a second. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, I think that was something. No.